if these kids who aren't really old enough to have a full appreciation of the consequences of their actions or choices to appreciate death and the impact that it has on somebody when, when they do this. Uh, is there a way to get through to them how long and how horrible their actions are when they do something like what's done to her son? Yeah, I, I think, you know, you can't scare a person straight. You can only care a person straight. And, and certainly, you know, Isaac has as much more access to, to the consequences and the data and the information than anybody else. Uh, the problem is caring enough uh, to want to uh, retreat from all that and, and even clinging to the myth uh, that a gun is somehow going to protect you. I've, I've buried 171 human beings and know a lot of lives destroyed because of a gun. I can't name a single time when a gun has protected or saved a life, not once. And yet, so it's not rational. You can't, it's, it's, we're not talking rational actors, rational action. We're talking about f folks who are stuck in a place of great uh, despair, and somehow it's it's a community health issue, and people need to infuse kids with hope and and help them imagine a future, even if he can't imagine one right now. If you say nothing, it'll stop a bullet like a job. Well, you have to. That does about 85 percent of what needs to be done, and you want to have an alternative. You want to be able to say, "Leave that behind. You come over here. We'll help you." We'll, we'll give you a job and make sure you stay in school and incentivize his schooling. And, and that works, along with the community that embraces him and loves him. 